Well, we can't expect uh, this next meeting to hit the same dizzy heights, perhaps. But if both sides can come even close to what they showed in terms of focus, intensity, skill level, physicality and flair, then it will be another masterpiece to be enjoyed over and over and shown to all those that aspire to be the very best that they can be. First of all, the injection's got to be right. Out it comes. Nicely done, it's crept past the goalkeeper. And now Belgium do have the lead. Well, I'm sure you all uh, want to talk about the goalkeeper's contribution here, Simon. But Belgium have the lead, and that won't do Tom Bone's confidence any harm at all. Well, Pema Black just doesn't get down, the postman doesn't get fired. Boom puts everything behind it. But that's very much a goalkeeper's channel. Should have read that better, Pema Black. Look, the knee, there's no extension. He's dropped straight at the ball. Hasn't gone sideways at all. Probably disguised from the edge of the circle. Boone may well have taken it out to come back but doesn't get anything, doesn't drop a knee inside to create an ice hockey-style barrier, doesn't get his hand down. Man of his calibre will be disappointed with that. Oh, it's gone in again. And this time, this time it's Cedric Charlier. And the Dutch defenders look at each other. And history is repeating itself here. Dutch doing all the pressing, the Dutch winning the corners, but it's Belgium scoring the goals. Well, Charlier was the man who didn't get the first goal. He said it hadn't hit his stick when the ball got fed in. We went to video replay. This one, however, absolutely no doubt. It's a cheeky little touch behind the body. Pierman Black probably doesn't see it through the defender until too late, but it's gone over the top of his leg guard. It's actually Sam van der Ven, Sam in, the, van der Ven sorry. in the net. Uh, so, well, you, you can be excused that the way they rotate their goalkeepers. They stick in the right line to pick the play off. What a chance! Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh. There's no stopping that one. Well, that is one of the goals of the championship. Robert Kemperman. Oh, he meant that. He really meant that. And now we've got a game on our hands. Oh, we have seen some finishes, and Nick, you said we may not have seen goal of the tournament. Overhead, takedown, step forwards and stop that. If he missed the target, that would have landed three hockey clubs away from here. But Ash didn't even see that. In this replay, that's over his shoulder, and it's gone in before the camera's even picked it up. Get in the top corner. Dutch think they force over the line, the Dutch have forced it over the line. Mirko Prouse are the goal scorer. Three, four and five phases after the first flip, which flattered the front edge of the crossbar that didn't go over the line. It must have been very close, I'd like to see a replay of that. Almost leaving a Russian line to the Belgian team together in the huddle, they need to... Have a little chat here. Well, Van der Veen has gone up. He's rolled off to the right-hand castle. Van Ash gets a foot and a foot again. Deny it on the line. And then all of a sudden, it's punched in. Clever move. And the number one runner has oh, to move. Me. Great from Crone to get it back towards the goalkeeper. Van Ash doesn't extend his left hand. This is flicked. So hard. That is nuts. Brilliant. That's what I do, Dutch very deliberate with the second him. here. As it comes, it's wide for Veden. Oh! Well, Van der Veden has found his shooting boots by rotating off the right-hand offensive castle. He's found space. He's able to go round Gunard. That's the whole point, the, the goalkeeper can't see it, it changes the line of the flick. There's nothing Manash can do, Gunnar gets inside it, but it's opened up so much space. Gunnar is appealing, Van der Veen is ecstatic, obviously. He's put everything through that to find the channel down to Manash's left-hand side. Leipart can only batter down a play on the far side, and that must be pretty much it. Here come the Dutch, there's no keeper in number. 
That's the championship. Well, Mirko Plaza has probably just won himself the top goal scorers award as well. He won't worry about that. This is not a game for individuals. This is a game for teams, and we're watching two very special teams out there. Game, set, and match to the Netherlands. Well, to show respect, they have to finish this last 17 seconds. Belgium will take the pushback, but it was the overhead pass. Neupard didn't get there. Prouser, professional to the end, opens the blade. Thierry Brinkman provided the pass. He slides his stick under the ball to pop it over the last defender. What a match. What a 10 days. What a continent we have in Europe. A fabulous advert, pretty much from the first game right the way through to the last game. 40 games of hockey, some of which will live long in my memory. As were the fantastic crowd scenes that we've seen here. Mink van der Veen, all smiles. And Belgium taking it on the chin just as well indeed as the Dutch did the other night. Again, they know they've played in a match at a very, very high level. You win some, you lose some. But as far as the Dutch are concerned, they've won the one that really mattered. The European title will remain in the Netherlands.